Hello, and welcome to the David R. Sheridan School of Computer Science Information Session. We're excited to have you join us today to learn a little more about what you can expect from our programs. My name is Monique Bevan, and I am the Recruitment Coordinator for Computer Science. I am joined today by Heather Simons, who is the Program Manager for Computing and Financial Management. Hi. As well as Professor Christopher Batty, one of our Computer Science faculty members. Hi, folks. Throughout the course of this presentation, we welcome you to type your questions in the chat where we have representatives ready to answer for you. Let's get started. The David R. Sheridan School of Computer Science at the University of Waterloo is part of the Faculty of Mathematics and has become the second largest academic computer science research center in Canada, ranking number 24 in the world according to the 2020 QS World University Rankings Report. We have a strong international reputation, and our faculty are some of the top researchers in the field. As you're most likely aware, within the school, we offer four direct entry programs. These include computer science, software engineering, business administration and computer science double degree, and computing and financial management. The software engineering program is jointly offered through the Faculty of Mathematics and Engineering and is targeted at those interested in both hardware and software development. With courses from both areas, students will ultimately graduate with an engineering degree. The Business Administration and Computer Science Double Degree combines courses of computer science from Waterloo with business strategy from Laurier. Students will earn two degrees within five years and gain a wealth of knowledge from both the tech and corporate worlds. Computing and Financial Management is a one degree double major program that gives students both computer science and finance skills, making them a valuable asset for any tech company. Now, to move forward through the rest of our presentation, I would like to welcome my colleagues to help answer some of our common questions and provide more insight to some useful information for first year students. So Professor Batty, can you please describe what first year looks like for students in our programs? Sure. Uh, students enrolled in our computer science programs uh, will develop a strong mathematical foundation in their first year, taking many of the same core courses as other programs in the mathematics faculty. So alongside essential concepts of math and computer science, first years can expect to learn programming languages such as Racket, Python, and C or C++. Once students enter into second year and beyond, they'll then have more flexibility in course selection and electives. And in total, they'll have to complete 40 courses to graduate. Uh, the SE double degree and CFM programs have a structured and demanding course load with relatively limited flexibility as compared to the general CS program. At the same time though, class sizes are smaller and students remain with the same co cohort throughout their degree, which helps to foster a strong sense of community among the students. Thank you for that, Christopher. And Heather, uh, what about for the CFM program? For computing and financial management, our students in their first year get to take the same math and computer science courses as the rest of our majors. In addition, they'll take a major of finance, as Monique mentioned, which allows them to study a variety of different accounting foundations in first year to prepare them for the knowledge and concepts of finance that they will learn starting second year and beyond in things like investment, regression, and both of these concepts combined will allow our students to be eligible to work in the trillion dollar growing financial technology industry. It is looking for professionals to combine computer science and finance together, and our students are well equipped to meet those needs. It is a very changing uh, industry, and we are very happy to introduce new first year courses as well as third and fourth year classes that our fall 2021 admits are going to be the first to experience. It's going to bridge computer science and finance more readily in first year, so you can dive right in and explore what financial technology has to offer. That's some great information about all of our courses. So I do have a follow-up question to that. Is there any opportunity to specialize um, a degree through majors, minors, or other options? Absolutely. So with the exceptions of the computing and financial management program and the software engineering program, students enrolled in computer science have the opportunity to specialize their degree to suit their interests. So most majors are declared in second year. An example is the data science major, which combines elements of computer science and statistics and teaches students how to use data to understand and make predictions about business strategy, medicine, public safety, and more. 
In addition to majors, you can enhance your degree by choosing from one of our eight specializations, which I'll just describe briefly. In the artificial intelligence specialization, students will gain theoretical and experimental knowledge of what makes computers able to act in a manner that us humans would consider intelligent. Uh, in the business specialization, well, whether it's a Fortune 500 company or a mom and pop store, all modern businesses have to rely on technology to be successful. In this specialization, students will learn to translate their technical abilities into the business world. Bioinformatics. This is the application of computer science techniques to problems involving biological data, such as DNA sequences. Computational fine arts. This specialization introduces students to principles of art and design and enables them to express their creativity through computer mediated aesthetic experiences. The digital hardware specialization allows students to delve deeper into the physical hardware and devices that underpin modern computing technology. The human computer interaction specialization focuses on understanding how people interact with computational systems, as well as how to design and implement such systems. Software engineering emphasizes the methods and processes of professional software development and teaches students how to work effectively within a team to complete challenging software projects. That's a great description of all our specializations. Thank you. So we've heard now um, software engineering being repeated a few times within the computer science program. So can you describe the difference between computer science and software engineering? Yeah, the computer science program focuses on the software side of computing and offers more flexible course selection with many choices for electives. Students have the option of whether or not to enroll in the co-op program, and the coursework focuses primarily on independent assignments and projects. By contrast, software engineering centers on both software and hardware within a very structured program that has fewer electives. The software engineering program is co-op only and focuses more on group projects and teamwork. And although these programs have significant differences over the duration of the degree, by and large, we find that upon graduation, students often find themselves pursuing very similar jobs and career paths. So one of our options, uh, major options that we did talk about was the data science major, and that is offered through both the computer science and the math programs. So can you please describe the difference between the BCS data science and the BMath data science? Thanks, Monique. Data science is an emerging field that allows students to manage, sort, and manipulate large sets of data. Online retailers and big box stores like Amazon are looking for these types of professionals to take their large sets of information and narrow it down into something meaningful that they can use to improve the customer service of the people that are buying their products. With data science, there are two different ways that you can flavor your experience. It can either be through the honors math program leading to a bachelor of mathematics or the computer science program leading to a bachelor of computer science. Whatever pathway you apply to and start in, you will apply to the data science major starting in your second year, will require a conversation with an advisor. And regardless of what pathway you go through, you will learn math, you will learn statistics, and you will learn computer science because all of those areas are important for being able to apply those in the workplace. Depending on which program you're in will determine how much or how little computer science, math, or statistics that you'll have as part of your background. Now we do have two more programs within the school um, that are similar and that students often wonder what the difference is because they do combine elements of computer science and a, and a business aspect. And that would be the CFM and double degree program. So if you can give the comparison between those, um, that would be really helpful. Thanks Monique. For the computing and financial management program, students will undertake 40 courses in order to learn computer science and finance together as two majors within one degree. It leads to a unique Bachelor of Computing and Financial Management and it prepares students to work in the evolving financial technology industry. This is a program that students should undertake if they are interested strictly in finance and combining that with computer science. This is not a general business program, nor does it lead to an accounting designation. It very much is in the financial realm. Students will take all of their courses at the University of Waterloo and they will leave with some great expertise. With the double degree program, the Business Administration and Computer Science double degree, the title is as it sounds. It is two degrees that students are earning in the same amount of time that it would take for them to earn one single degree. 
This is a program that is shared with Wilfrid Laurier University, which is located down the street from the University of Waterloo. Wilfrid Laurier has a school of business and economics where they will teach all the business concepts that students are interested in and want to learn for their budding career, like marketing and operations and accounting and finance. And that learning will lead to a full bachelor in the business side. In the computer science side of the degree, the Bachelor of Computer Science, that will be taught at the University of Waterloo. And students will take the exact same math and computer science courses that they would if they were majoring in that single degree. It does require more time management to fulfill the two majors. And so it will take 52 courses in order to complete. It is really for a student that wants to get the full business scope rather than just finance like on the CFM side of the program. If students have applied to the BBA slash PCS program at both the University of Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier University, and they're provided an offer to both, students get to decide which offer they want to accept, which will determine which university is their home school. A home school determines the co-op, the scholarships, and the housing that students will receive for that particular program. So even though they are a student of both campuses, they will have one particular university which houses all these services. That's a great comparison. Thank you very much. So now that we've covered a lot of information about details of our courses, um, I would like to jump into co-op now. So what types of jobs can students expect while they're in co-op? Well, many of the jobs that students end up working at through our co-op program are actually quite similar to the kinds of jobs they will end up taking after graduation. So it's really great preparation for the working world. A few examples of positions that are out there, things like software developer, game programmer, research assistant, or business systems analyst, and of course the list goes on and on from there. If you're interested in getting more insight into the co-op system and the opportunities that it affords students, there's going to be a co-op session held today, as well as a co-op student panel via the Zoom live Q&A. So please search the main landing page for further details if you're interested. Thank you for that information, Professor Batty. So what resources are available to undergraduate students in either the computer science or the general faculty of math? There are lots of different ways that students in our faculty of mathematics, specifically computer science, can improve upon their academic and social success while they're at the university. On the academic side, there's a lot of great clubs that fall under our math society, which is the governing body that houses all the different clubs and associations that are program related. This includes the computer science club, the double degree club, the women in computer science club, and all of these allow students to help plan events, participate in events um, such as hackathons and socials, and to really get students to connect one another who have very similar interests. In addition to these clubs, there's also international exchanges that students can apply to, to really enhance their understandings of their studies abroad and how computer science translates across different markets and academic spaces. On the social side, there's lots of different intramurals that students can take advantage of to play sports and connect with other students. Right now we have esports that are available online to supplement the in-person sport activities that typically happen on campus. And of course, they can participate in lots of great startup and venture opportunities through Velocity Residence and the Velocity Garage, which is located physically in Kitchener down from the university. For students that are wanting to get some more supports on the academic or social sides, counseling services, tutoring centers, the Student Success Office and academic advisors are a great, great way for students to make those connections and be successful in their studies. Now, as we approach the end of our presentation, I do have a final question and one that is probably one of our most common questions among students, um, especially waiting for admission, is how competitive is admission into the computer science program and can students transfer after first year? Yeah, that is a great question. So admission to computer science is indeed highly competitive and the application process depends on a lot of factors including your extracurricular activities, which you can describe in your admissions information form or AIF, as well as your academic standing, meaning grade performance in high school courses and so on. Since admission is quite competitive, there are very few, if any, spaces available for transfer students. And this is true whether they're coming from another program within Waterloo or a different university altogether. 
Therefore, if you accept an offer from another university but are actually hoping to later transfer into CS at Waterloo, you should be aware that the odds of this being successful are extremely slim. So we do not recommend you make this a part of your admissions plan. Internal transfers into CS from current Waterloo CFM, software engineering, or double degree students are feasible, and this will require a conversation with an academic advisor after first year. However, transfers from any other program on campus, including math, are incredibly competitive and will depend on your university grades and the availability of spaces, if any. So this is not really a viable plan B to accept another program at Waterloo and hope to transfer to CS afterwards. In short, you should make sure to only accept an offer to a program that you're truly interested in. Thank you, for press, for, thank you Professor Batty. That was um, some very important information. That concludes the computer science session, and I would like to thank both Heather and Professor Batty for their insightful information. Thank you to everyone else for joining us, and I encourage you to check out the other sessions happening today in the math booth, along with our campus partners. If you have any outstanding questions, we will be available all day in the Ask an Expert section of the booth to answer those for you. If you have questions beyond today, please refer to the slide for some ways to get in contact with, with us. Thank you.